if you spend about $250 on a pair of boots, how long do you expect it to last? Three years ago, I made a significant investment. I purchased the Doc Martens 1460s made in England. Little did I know that this purchase would give the birth of this very YouTube channel you're watching today. In that time, I've shared my journey and experiences with Doc Martens. So as I hit the three year mark with these boots, let's reflect back on the good and not so good about these iconic boots. The things that I like about these, to me personally, breaking into them was not as difficult. I was part of the double sock crew. They became comfortable quickly and they remained comfortable over time. Cleaning them was easy. I made sure I used a leather cleaner on them semi-annually so that the leather won't get stiff and crack on me. Lastly, I like how versatile the 1460s are. Personally, I feel like the 1460s are for everyone. So with every good, there's always some bad. So these are some of my bad experiences with these Doc Martens. So this happened to me recently. While I was at work, I dropped a lightweight box on my Doc Martens. And to my surprise, they rip. Like seriously, I might really need a doctor now. As I inspected my boots more closely, I noticed something unusual. The leather on the tongue of my Doc Martens were slowly coming off. I believe it's because the way I lace up my boots. I do it this way because it's very comfortable. It allows me to get a snug fit and also my laces do not become undone. So now I have to look for alternative ways of lacing up my boots. This was an unexpected thing that I thought I would never face, but hey, what's next? So in conclusion, after everything I've just said, are these boots worth the price tag? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.